hey how's it this is the foundation wanted to come at you with a video um you know nothing really going on in no tas it's jersey and shorts I, you know the main thing that we get into training camp healthy um main, main thing we get into the uh, training camp healthy and stuff like that uh you kind of pay attention to like you know like guys like uh getting full off seasons like kellen moore um david irving um jameel showers bryce butler you know get into get into full season workouts with us and um you know second year players like uh damien wilson uh especially brian jones now that they come in now they finally gonna let him stay at um stay at uh, safety and then guys you know also guys also guys like uh, you know lucky whitehead which to me he looks physically thicker um and then you know like maybe a guy like um Devin street who is pretty much on his on his last leg i mean you know he's gonna have to really fight for his position you know but but the main thing that we get we get to training camp and to the season um uh, very healthy having said that you know in this time of the year like you know around last year um and also it's been petitioned recently in, on on twitter but like you know the ring of honor darren woodson darren woodson got that honor last year uh which which is well, well deserving um uh, recently you know i think these two guys should go in together uh, because they're both well deserving and you know i kind of like thinking this should be a happy occasion you know not you know some people might think of it as sad if only one of them gets gets some um, in, inducted and that is you know harvey martin and Ed all jones harvey martin you know passed away, you know the late great harvey martin passed away so you know if he gets inducted it's kind of like a bittersweet thing you know people will be probably more sad than anything like that um and also it so so that's why i said ed tutal jones should be inducted at the same time um you know and plus too there was there was part of the i i wish they would have gone in all three of them together um uh, because it was part of the the doomsday defense number two the him uh ed tutal jones uh, harvey martin um and uh randy randy manster white you know the, all three guys should have you know like the triplets they should have been put in together so you know i don't really remember harvey martin just because i was too young um i was too young you know i was in the early 80s i mean well more starting mid well early ish mid mid 80s kind of thing uh, but you know i seen the game of um I've seen the game of the, the on, on NFL Classics, um, the the Hail Mary game, and you know for a long time he was the he was the leader, he was the all-time sack leader on the Dallas Cowboys, and on in that game, I mean, my God, he was just leaping off the off the screen, and, and it's sad to think like, how the hell does this guy not even get love for it? You know, I mean, you're getting votes, you know. And you know, and then also like you got to think too that sacks sacks wasn't even an official stat for a long time, so he could even have more. He still maybe could be the Dallas Cowboys all-time lead sack. You know, I'm not trying to knock the Marcus Ware, but I'm just saying that you know he could have more sacks. Uh, having uh, then then you know like also like. Um, Ed Tutal Jones, you know, he he impacted the game in a great way. I mean, you know, like he played on the left side, so that was the that was the right side for a lot of um that was the right side for a lot of right-handed quarterbacks, and that's the first read. And he he forced guys to throw the other way on their first read to the other side because he'll just swat so many balls. I remember Ed Tutal Jones a little bit more because one he's one of my favorite players of all time and you know like and the the game that you know the game that is ingrained into my head one of my favorite games of all time growing up 
um, the game against the Giants, you know, everybody remembers when he swatted the ball against Phil Sims and Jim Jeffcoat ran it back for a, a touchdown. So, so you know, I, I think that, I, I think those two should be put in together, you know. So, so I know everybody's kind of petitioning for, for, um, on Twitter on um, Ed Tuttle Jones, which I agree. I just think that uh, Harvey Martin this is equally as deserving, you know, because again Harvey Martin is a former, a former um, defensive defensive player of the year, um, and and a co and a co um, co Super Bowl MVP. So, you know how you know, and then and plus being the Cowboys all-time sack leader you know for a long time so so that's well deserving of, of that that honor um, I know a lot of younger Cowboy fans have their own guys right now you know I, I believe me you know I believe me I have some guys too that from the 90s and stuff like that that should be in the ring of honor as well because um, it is a fan to me it's a fan thing you know th these guys contributed to the Cowboys, and they should be honored. You know maybe they don't get in the Hall of Fame, but at least at least we have. We'll always you know when 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 you take your kids to the stadium and you go that kid you know you know he, him right there son you know he may not be recognized but that guy right there was a great player for us or your grandkids and stuff like that. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, if you agree, I mean. If you have a Harvey Martin memory that you guys can, you know, want to talk about, uh, let me know. Uh, leave it in the comments or whatever. Uh, mahalo for watching. Bonnie little boys go Cowboys.